to yet another episode of Technophilia. Today we will explore my favorite area in the field of technologies. I'm sure it's yours too. Any guesses? Yes, I have. Entertainment communication? Yes, and educational technology too. I'm sure you're excited to hear more about that. So let us plunge straight into the episode. This looks like a monitor. No, it's a smart TV. I'm going to present new features of a smart TV. What is a smart TV anyway? With a smart TV, you can access online contents without using a Roku or a Fast Tech. How does a smart TV connect? A smart TV connects through your home internet through a wired Ethernet cable or a built-in Wi-Fi to stay connected. Now, let's see the features. A Smart TV offers a variety of streaming services like Netflix, Amazon Prime Video, Disney Plus and HBO Max. Enjoy streaming music services like Spotify and online radio music like Pandora. You can also browse the internet. You can also visit a social media like Twitter and Facebook. Multiple AI voice control features like Alexa, Google Assistant and Bixby. They are all integrated into the system. With multiple AI voice control features, you can turn the TV on or off, change channels, open apps, watch news or sports, etc. A smart TV can also control other smart devices at home. They are smart locks, robotic vacuums, thermostats, etc. Hope this has given you a hint of the future of a smart TV. As you can view behind me, my old bulky TV and my new smart TV to prove my statement. It's terrific. Can I play a violin in this? I know you love violin. Even you can hear stories. I am going to describe about new features of a touchscreen tab. What is a tablet? A palm top or a tablet PC in short is called a tab. It's a compact mobile device functions like a laptop. Latest features. Full 8 to 10 inch HD display with loud and clear Dolby speakers. Front and rear camera used for videos and selfies. Touch operated by finger or stylus pen. Voice control features so no need to type. It has a tilt feature. You can see here the screen is tilting. Advantages. Browse the internet like YouTube Kids. Great for reading books, watching movies and listening to music. Good for travel. The design is so thin and so easy. I can hold it for long periods. Great for playing games. Uses of a tab for communication. Built-in keyboard that displays on screen so I don't have to buy my own keyboard. Built-in Google Assistant, widescreen display helps in video calls and reduce strain on the eyes. Tabs are used for both entertainment and learning purpose like Google Classroom, Edu Merge, Ulu app, etc. Hence portable like a smartphone and works like a laptop. Check email or do office work for hours. Thank you. Hi, today I'm going to talk about Alexa. The Amazon Echo is one of the hands-free speakers and devices from Amazon that can be controlled by your voice. The voice control personal assistant on these devices is called Alexa. In this feature, we'll explain what Alexa can do. Alexa is able to play music, 
provide information, deliver news and sports scores. The sports scores. It can control electronic devices like television, lights, air conditioners, etc. Tells you the weather and even allows Prime members to order products from Amazon. Alexa sits in the cloud, expanding the information offered all the time and refining the responses to give you more accurate information. There are plenty of things you can ask Alexa to do. For example, I use Alexa to hear a bedtime story. It helps me get relaxed through some meditation music. I practice songs and play the shadow game and even a fun game of Akinator. Daily I use Alexa to get an update of the weather condition and keep alarms to wake up early in the morning and sometimes it reminds me to brush my teeth at night. I am happy to say that Alexa is my newly added knowledge partner and an interesting electronic companion in my daily activity. Thank you. Do you know half of the world don't have internet access but thanks to Elon Musk who created a Starlink satellite internet connection. Starlink is a moving satellite sent to space 550 kilometers above Earth. This is Earth and this is Starlink satellite. The internet we are using now is connected to fiber or cable network but Starlink internet is connected to satellite with a dish antenna. Let's see what are the advantages. First, it has a quick resp response time of 20 to 40 milliseconds. Second, the speed of internet is 100 to 200 Mbps. Third, internet can be used from anywhere in the world, so we all can communicate smoothly. We, ha we can have access to library, games, etc. With so much of development happening with internet, a day without internet is a year without sin. Thank you. Hi everyone, my topic is storytelling using animated creation. Animated storytelling is a concisely written and beautifully designed book that gives the reader a comprehensive look for the film making process. It's like having a mini film school in the palm of your hand. By using animated storytelling, for storytelling, you can not only describe the product's feature but also can convey its mood and style. You can use a funny animated mascot to tell your product story. Animation video helps you to explain tricky process or concept. Chinu the butterfly. Hello, my name is Chinu. I am a blue butterfly. One day when Chinu was flying, she heard a sound, chirp chirp. She turned around and looked. Look, a yellow bird is flying straight to me. Oh, that bird is going to catch me. Where will I hide now? The bird started to chase Chinu. Oh, God, please save me from this bird. Chinu cried. Suddenly, she spotted a garden with full of flowers and dived in to them to hide among the flowers. She sat on a red flower, but then she realized that sitting on a blue flower will disguise herself as a flower. The bird could not recognize the blue butterfly sitting on a blue flower and flew away. Chinu filled up her stomach with nectar and happily flew away. Now, we are able to see our teachers on our devices. But imagine a digital keyboard popping up while teaching. Wonderful! How did the school manage to train these children so well? Your answer to that question lies here. Have a look. Interactive touchscreen display is a mounted device that enables the users to make vibrant presentations and control on-screen data through digital touchscreen interactions. Touchscreen works on electricity. This screen is made up of glass, an insulating material. Therefore, it does not carry any electric current. The screen is transparent because the surface is coated with a thin layer of an electrically conducting material known as enamel tin oxide. 
Interactive touch screens are the new standard display technology for the classrooms that help teachers offer more learning opportunities for the students. Why is touch screen used in education? Touch screen is used in education to increase the students' participation. This is the whiteboard application which the teachers use to teach the students. We can use the digital whiteboard for remote teaching. This digital whiteboard can be shared in virtual classroom. Touch screen is now used all across the world. Nice to know about all these developments. There are many more to see. Wear this. Where am I? Am I standing on a cliff? Ooh, I will fall. Hold me, please. I am afraid I can hear my heart beat. There are many ways of us using virtual reality in education. Titans of Space is one such resource that helps students to take a virtual tour of the solar system. When used with a complex 3D virtual reality headset such as this, a student becomes a virtual astronaut. The bioconvex lenses really help in creating a vivid 3D world. Virtual reality can make healthcare more pleasant. VR has a great potential to make healthcare pleasant in medical education, surgery, rehabilitation, psychiatry, and psychology. Could all the benefit from it? For example, it can help teach medical students how to deliver difficult news to patients. Researchers had a study with empathic doctors which allowed the user to talk with the virtual humans reacting to their news about their health status. VR can make vaccination less painful. VR immerse children in a virtual world. They could feel like superheroes by getting the fire fruit in actual shot in reality. Are you afraid of heights, giant spiders, or huge crowds? VR can combat your fears. VR can also be pe people experiencing chronic pain. Imagine peering inside the human body without an incision, moving the skull, turning the heart without touching it, using a headset controller and innovative technology. It is possible to navigate human anatomy through virtual and mixed realities. As the VRMR trend grows pilot programs involving these technologies for the education of medical students are being used though not a replacement of hands-on practice Virtual and mixed reality are increasing situation-based experience in a lower risk alternative. Dubbing virtual and mixed reality is the new reality. Hi, I am going to show you how stents are used to remove a block in the heart. When coronary artery gets blocked with the help of guide wire and a catheter die is injected to identify the block. Later, the balloon catheter is inserted, inflate and deflate it several times to partially release the block. Then, remove the balloon catheter. Over the balloon catheter, the stent is placed and the procedure is repeated. Place the stent and remove the balloon catheter for permanent removal of the block. Heart has its own natural pacemaker called the sinoatrial node which sends out electrical impulses and swipe over the atrium and ventricle septum to contract and produce a heartbeat. When the sinoatrial node does not work properly, a pacemaker is recommended. A pacemaker is a small implanted device which is kept in the chest or abdomen that gives electrical impulses to keep a heartbeat regular. Few pacemakers work only when needed while others generate impulses all the time. This is the still model of a heart pacemaker. This is the pulse generator and these are the leads. Robotic surgery allows doctors to perform many types of complex procedures with more precision, flexibility and control than is possible with conventional techniques. Robotic surgery are types of surgical procedures that are done using robotic systems. Robotic surgery was developed to try to overcome the limitations of pre-existing minimally invasive surgical procedures.
This is a model of the Da Vinci robotic system for minimally invasive surgical procedures. It is a type of master slave robotic system. The Da Vinci system basically consists of three components. The first is the surgical console which has a seat for a surgeon and a monitor. The second is the patient cart which is positioned alongside the patient bed. It consists of a center column and three to four robotic arms for camera control and endorist instruments. The endoscopic instruments are inserted into the surgical site through a small incision. There is a tiny camera attached which shows a 3D magnified view to the surgeon. And the last component is the vision card through which communication between the components are made possible. This is the most advanced surgical bot in the world. Hello everyone, as I am a child of 21st century, I would like to finish all my works in the fingertips. Can anyone guess how? Yes, it's all by machines. We have many type of machines to do our work easy and to save our time. One of it I have chosen as my topic for today is smart watch. As we all know, watch is only used to see the time. But now the technology is so much developed and proved. Why watch is only used to see the time? It can also do much more things. I will brief few things about smart watch for you all. A smartwatch is like a wearable computer and does lot of things. It is available in cool and trendy colors. The strap can be changed to match your dress. This watch is connected to our smartphone. The main feature is to attend call, talk to people without using a phone. Hi, let me speak about the advantages of wearable fitness band. It is used to monitor our weight, calories burned, heart rate, speed, etc. It tracks movement in every direction by a 3-axis accelerometer. Users will have their activity monitored via sensors, for example, food eaten or distance walked. The disadvantages are, it is very expensive, the battery needs to be charged like smartphone. A lot of applications are on our way in the future for us in the entertainment and communication field that will help the younger generation develop their interest. We are entering an age that I would like to call the screenless screen, the predicted future. 